Hello guys and gals, and this is another Vlog Friday. It will be number... Um, check my notes here. Check my notes out. That was a mistake on my part. Uh, number 25, actually. So we've had 25 of these so far. Just checking my... Yep, 25. So, this is going to be episode 25 of Vlog Friday. Anyways, um, what we're going to talk about more in depth is individuality. Um, because individuality is important. Um, it's my personal opinion that life would be pretty boring if everybody liked the same things. Um, there wouldn't be any uniqueness in the world, and, um, that's just, uh, well, how can I put this? If everyone liked the same kind of ice cream, it would probably never be in stock because everybody liked it and it would all be bought up. Um, and then other ice cream like, um... Mint Ripple would be, um, wouldn't get any attention at all. But anyways, individuality is important because, um, there will never be another you, and we'll go into that later. Um, but, um, basically everyone has unique thoughts, unique aspirations, unique dreams, motivations, intentions. Everything is unique. And um, it's just important to um, where am I trying to go with this? Um, you should always be yourself. Because of your uniqueness. Um, you aren't true to yourself if you try to pretend to be somebody else, or if you aren't true to who you are. Um, but let's go on. We're going to probably touch on this a little bit later. But anyways, um, it's easy this day and age to um, fall into, well, depression and feelings of hopelessness and stuff like that. That's perfectly natural. Um, one way to cope with the symptoms, not necessarily the underlying problem, is to uh, not do that. I grab both pages and then all of a sudden everything... Okay. Do something you enjoy at least once a day and make sure it's something legal. Anyways... It is important to um, basically cope any way you can with life itself. And coping can be very difficult, um, especially if there's something going on that is troubling, stressful, along those lines. One thing that helps a little bit is to do something to treat yourself. You're you're an amazing person, and um, and um, you deserve to be treated, you know, with respect. And um, you need to treat yourself with respect. Um, but one thing you can do is to, you know, do something you enjoy at least once a day. And it could be playing a certain video game. It could be eating a certain dessert if it's within your dietary wheelhouse. I mean... If you're a diabetic, then you're probably not going to be eating a large chunk of cake or anything like that, or at least it isn't wise. I know that that, that kind of stuff would always send my mom into a diabetic shock or something. But anyways, um, it just has to be something that um, won't harm you in any other way. Um, 
But yeah, you deserve to be treated with respect and to do something to pamper yourself, to treat yourself really nice, because you are an amazing person. Um, number two is there's always someone who cares, and I always mention the social platforms, um, social networking platforms and stuff like that, and how people can have lots and lots of friends on social networks and still basically feel alone. I mean, even if you have real-life friends, you can still feel alone. And um, it can be easy to forget that there's always someone who cares. And that is really important to know. It's easy to just assume that nobody cares, and that would be that couldn't be further from the truth. It, 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 it's a total falsehood. Um, there's always someone who cares. And um, so, yeah, next time you feel down, you need to remember that. Number three is also important. If you are suffering from an affliction, there's no shame in seeking help. It can be something... I know I used to have to go to the doctor to get boils drained off of my back and stuff like that. Um, it can be something physical like that, or um, it could actually be a mental condition. And there used to be um, a stigma. I don't think there's so much a stigma attached to mental illness as much as there was in the past because people are starting to understand more about it, and they realize that um, mental illness is something that is basically beyond a person's control. They People don't choose to be mentally ill. Um, but if there are some mental illnesses that do require medication. So um, if you are suffering um, from a mental illness, like, I don't know, paranoid schizophrenia, I know, and bipolar, what used to be called manic depression, uh, basically you need medication to cope with those kind of things. And there's no shame in taking medication for those. Now, I admire people who can actually handle their depression without medication, because I know there's like diet and meditation and stuff like that. That can be used to treat depression, but... Um, I admire people like that. It's just that not everyone can cope in that way. But people do have my respect that are able to cope without the need for over-the-counter medication or even prescription drugs. Um, but yeah, if you are if you aren't feeling in top shape, then there's no shame in seeking help. Number four is also important. No matter how bad things get, there is always hope. That's another thing. Um, I try to always focus on positivity. Um, number seven. Um, and um, it can be easy to lose hope, especially, again, in uncertain times and uh, when things are going kind of bad. Um, I always mention um, the difference between happiness and joy. Joy being basically enduring through everything and still being okay and coping and happiness being situational. If you're having a bad day, you probably won't be very happy, but something like that probably shouldn't really tap into your joy too much. But um, it's always good to have hope. Um, things can get pretty bad, but as long as you have hope, you, it, it'll get you through. Um, Number five, I think, is super important, and it's easy to forget that um, societal tags and labels are pointless. People are people, and that is really a point that I always try to get across in the in these vlogs, which is why this is probably the twenty fifth time that I've mentioned this, and maybe more. Um, people are people, regardless of the scar, the, ah, the color, the, the color of their skin, regardless of their nationality, their creed, their religious beliefs, their sexual orientation. People are people. They all are made up of bones and blood and muscles and stuff like that. The same stuff as everybody else. Um, I think that we are considered carbon-based life forms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure carbon-based. And um, so, yeah. Sometimes it's easy to forget that people are people, especially if we're really upset with someone. Um... And I know that I've mentioned in other vlogs about how, I don't know, if someone cuts you off in traffic, then you can maybe take it, you know, personally and think that, well, they're out to get you or something. I mean, this isn't unhinged like 
this isn't like in the movie Unhinged or anything like that. Most people are just lost in their own little world and um, probably just didn't even notice. Um, it's easy to be distracted in society these days with them, um, you know, cell phones and even though you really shouldn't be using a cell phone and driving at the same time, I'm not saying that because that is basically highly illegal here in, in, in Illinois. But um, it's so easy to be distracted um, and maybe not even pay attention. And so, yeah, if somebody wrongs you, it's probably um, basically not a personal slight against you. Um, anyways, yeah. People are people, and um, it's, it's easy to maybe see people as being less human or less people if they don't exactly share the same thoughts as you do. But overall, people are people regardless of all situations. Um, okay, number six is, and we covered this already at the start, um, be yourself, there will never be another you. And that's another thing, too, is that um, you have unique thoughts and ideas. And that's why I actually encourage people to have YouTube channels so they can get their points, their ideas, and their concepts across. Um, well, not... Yeah, well, across to other people because everyone has unique ideas and like in a video game, everyone has unique play styles. Um, and some video games are based around certain play styles. RPGs are based around experience gain and um, getting stronger through battles. Um, First-person shooters are about, you know, getting those headshots or killing demons if it's Doom, Doom Eternal, Doom 2016, or something like that. Um... um Real-time um, RTS, real-time strategies are about building bases and stuff like that. And they're all games that cater to different play styles. And um, people are a lot like that in that they're all unique and they all have different quirks and stuff. Maybe even quirks they don't realize. And um, the people who are doing really, really well on YouTube and getting all that revenue and ad money, basically they are themselves. They, and people realize that and accept them for who they are. Um, that's why Jacksepticeye and Markiplier and PewDiePie, otherwise known as Felix Shellsberg, um, all basically have quite a following because they are themselves. And they're also very generous people, too. Number seven is always think positive thoughts. And I don't mean like the sarcastic, well, I'm positive this is going to be a rotten day. That, that, that's, not, that, that's not what I mean at all. I mean just genuinely positive thinking can basically um, set the balance in the right direction anyways. Uh, there was a book called The Power of Positive Thinking, and for the life of me, I don't remember who wrote that, but it was a nation, national-wide bestseller. Um, words, please work. Um, the Power of Positive Thinking, I think is what it was called, but there's always lots of books up, out there about positive thinking and even some of the clinical, the clinical studies that, um, that show that positive thinking does in, indeed, I think it increases the release of endorphins or something. I don't know. It, it has some kind of physical effect on people. And um, so, yeah. Um, so always have the positive thinking and always be yourself. Um, there's no shame in being who you are. Um, and there's no shame in being different. I mean, some people might tease you for being different, but, uh, just look at the big comedians these days who are different. I mean, I'm sure that big names like, um, his name Michael Myers. I think Michael Myers and, um, John Hader, you know, the guy who played um, Napoleon Dynamite. I'm sure he probably got teased a lot as a kid, too. But now look at them. They're famous comedians. So, um, yeah, get stronger through, every, through things that challenge you. And um, so, yeah, 
Anyways, I think that I'm going to end the video here. It needs to go live in about a few hours. So anyways, I do hope that this vlog helped at least one person. Um, and if you like this content, then make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, all that information will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.